Hello, hello, friends. Welcome back. Raw Vegan Beauty here. And I am ready to talk about some raw vegan amazingness. I am here to tell you all about my journey that brought me to where I am today, eating high vibe, amazing raw live foods for a live body. Well, if you could have guessed, I did not get born into veganism or anything like that. But before I get into that, make sure you subscribe, click notifications, because the fun has just begun. Now, let's go back to my early years. I was born in Wisconsin, and I ate quite the Midwest diet. As a child, I remember, this is, this is embarrassing, honestly, eating bologna sandwiches. I remember the first day that I finished a quarter pounder. I was so proud of myself and I was not an obese child. I had a good metabolism. I was always running around or something. I don't know. But oh my gosh, I remember KFC was my favorite food. Like it was, it's wild to think about now, you know? And so I lived like that and then until I was 12 years old. Well, I mean, I guess I kind of, you know, trickled from eating so much crap food like that when I lived with my mom, but I was still, oh man, no. Still, I remember us just eating chicken and white rice because it was cheap, easy, chicken and freaking white rice. So much to the fact that we'll get to when I was 12, chicken was one of the first things I gave up. But before I get into that a little bit, what inspired me to start my vegetarian, raw vegan, well not raw vegan quite then, but vegan journey, what eventually led to that? I wish I could remember specifically what was said to me but I don't because it was quite a while ago. Um, basically, my mom had friends who were vegetarian and they spit some game to me and it stuck. It stuck that when I was 12 years old, I just wanted to quit it all. But my mom was like, no, you can't be vegetarian. And so I gave up chicken, pork, and mystery meats. What I considered mystery meats was, you know, salami, sausage, bologna, things like that. So, you know, I was still eating like turkey and stuff. And I look back and I'm like, turkey and chicken's like the same thing. But you know what? It was better than nothing because that led me to my vegetarianism two years later. So let me tell you all about that. I was 14 years old and I had moved back to Wisconsin briefly with my grandma for like a summer. And I, so, <laughs> I'll tell you all about that actually. So, um, I liked this guy who was vegetarian and when we all, we all went out to eat one day and I remember I got turkey on my sandwich because I was so used to getting made fun of for not wanting meat on my food and just getting like cheese and veggies. And then, so he was making fun of me for having me, and he's like, that's gross, that's gross. And I'm like, I know it's gross. I just don't want to be made fun of. And um, so, yeah, he inspired me to start my vegetarianism for real. And um, I feel like a lot of people, you know, have definitely made the comment of, you know, you did it for a guy. Um, I'm pretty sure I did it for myself because I was vegetarian for 15 years before I became vegan. Um, I don't think he ever even blossomed into that. But I'm happy. Everyone has a place in your life and it's amazing to be inspired. It doesn't mean you do it for anyone. It doesn't mean that he liked me because I stopped eating meat. And um, so yeah, I remember I told my mom and she's like, Oh, I never said you couldn't be vegetarian. I just am not going to make you special food. No one asked her to. So when I moved back to Arizona with my mom, I stuck with the vegetarianism and I just made myself a little veggie burger at dinner and times were great. 
And then I remember there was a brief period, um, yeah, during my freshman year that I was like, I'm gonna go vegan <sighs> secretly because my mom's like, you're not going vegan. Like she couldn't handle that. And that didn't go very well because I realized that like everything has eggs in it or, you know, something like that, dairy. Even like, I remember getting um, chips at school and they didn't even have a flavor. I don't even think they were flavored and still like was contained milk ingredients and I like wouldn't let me return them. And I was like, no, the animals. Anyways, so fast forward, I tried to go vegan again um, in my early 20s. I had a best friend that we lived together. We we're both vegetarian, uh, but I was just drunk. I was too drunk to to want to really be serious about it. I'm like, I like ranch too much. And I always think back at it, I'm like, I can make so many different variations of vegan ranch. There's so many non-dairy ranches. Even back then, this was like, you know, not quite 10 years ago. Don't get twisted, I'm not that old. But... <laughs> It was quite a while ago before the, the huge vegan movement really started, I believe. Um, you know, but I I cut out as much dairy and everything as I could, you know, because I just knew it wasn't healthy for me. And let me get to that, too. The whole entire reason I fell into all of this is once I, like, found out what was up with, um, you know, what goes on with animals for us to eat them, I was just like, that's gross, you know, it wasn't necessarily because my love of animals, it was, you know, a combination of that, a combination of my health, but just, I'm like, it's effing gross, like, why would you eat another being that's alive, that has a soul, like, that's not their purpose in the world, you know, despite what the Bible says, not gonna get into that right now, but, um, yeah, so, but let me tell you, over four years ago, I converted to veganism and it was a time in my life that I just I had a really toxic boyfriend and I was you know not taking care of myself and I was like man nothing's really going right right now I I'm gonna go vegan you know to just try to get a little bit more control into my life and I was just like sick of being kind of like half-assed vegan you know so even him he he's like I feel better eating this kind of stuff so even when times were really hard, and I'll be completely transparent, there is a period of time I was living in a motel, I still was vegan. I still kept my word to myself and stayed vegan. And that's why there's no excuses. If you really want to do something, you will do it. There's no nothing that can stop you but your damn self. I need to stop swearing. <laughs> Anyways, so... Yeah, I, I was not a healthy vegan though, my friends. I was not eating the abundant, amazing food that I do now. I was eating processed stuff, you know, like bean burritos, freaking still eating french fries and everything, you know. But I was doing what I can. And I still felt so much better not consuming animal products. And then the beauty of it all comes into fruition. Over three months ago... Well, a little over three months ago back, I had my spiritual awakening, which I will talk about all of that in detail in another video, of course. And about two weeks after that, I just had a download from Source that was like, hey, go raw vegan. I was eating um, a meal plan uh, with my macros and everything because I'm into fitness. And a lot of that was like um, protein pancakes, uh, you know, very little veggies, very little amazing abundant life. Like, barely, no, I don't think I had any live food, to be honest. Like, I think I had like one salad, like a tofu salad or something. It was, I don't know. It was terrible, like, now that I look back at it. But everything happens for a reason, and it brought me to where I am today. So... I didn't want to get sick. Oh, I'm going to talk about all this too. I didn't want to get sick, so I hired a nutritionist. She was a vegan nutritionist, so she had to know what she was doing, right? Ugh, no. So, I mean, I'm grateful for her as I'm grateful for everything that has gone in my gone on in my life. Um, so, I there was like a two-week period that I was like, all right, I'm going to go raw vegan after I get back from vacation for my birthday because I was going to Puerto Rico where my ex lived and I was like, I'm not trying to deal with, you know, going raw vegan during this time. I'll, I'll, I'll convert when I get back. And the whole time I just was not happy 
I mean, there's other reasons, but it was because I had already put this mindset in that I wanted to fill my body with live vibrating food and I was still eating nasty cooked food. I mean, I was still vegan. I was still, you know, mildly nutritious, but it was not where my heart wanted to be. So I had my meal plan made and everything. I came home March 18th. I officially started my veganism like two, three days before that. I just kind of winged it, got a bunch of like random raw stuff, like fruit, um, some sprouted hummus, uh, like the stuff they have, like the cra raw crackers and everything they have at the store. Just because of it. And I threw away everything like I had that wasn't, you know, going to fit into my new diet. I, yeah, let me tell you, before I started getting on my nutrition game a year ago, a year ago from today, actually, blessed, um, I would just eat toast all the time, all the time, just like toast, butter, maybe some avocado, maybe some veggie burger. I didn't know what was going on. So I actually like cried when I donated my toaster because I was like, man, times are changing. I am ready to fuel my heart and fuel my soul with vibrant amazing food and I knew obviously I knew what a raw diet was when I decided to make the change but I wasn't like 100% about all of it I didn't know and then I once I made the decision I started looking into it more I started watching youtubers all of that so if you're here considering you're already on top of the game because I just made the decision without you know everyone else's influence and um you know because when you're just connected to source and you have you know are strong with your intuition you just you trust the universe and it's beautiful Beautiful, beautiful. So, I have a nutritionist making me meal plans um, for, I believe, the first month or two, yeah, that I've been raw vegan. And uh, this lady was giving me too many calories, and she was giving me terrible food combinations, and my stomach hurt so bad every day. She had me eating, like, fruits and veggies with everything because she just, you know, didn't know how to make a real meal plan. And I'm like, hey, um, you know, how do you feel about co food combining? Because I was starting to read about it. And she said, oh, that's something raw vegans make up to be more extreme. And I actually, like, looked it up and, you know, like, was like, hey, I think that's really rude to make an uneducated statement like that. Because it was actually, um, I forget his name, but a man in the 1950s who created the whole food combining um, theory, which is not a theory. It's completely legit. I will make a whole entire video about that because let me tell you Once I took everything into my own hands. I started making my own food my own meal plan Oh my gosh, my friends my life has gotten even more better So I'm putting all that love into these recipes all of my heart my soul my essence Into what I'm creating and I cannot wait to do that for all of you I cannot wait to start doing meal plans and I am already starting on my ebook and all of these options are going to be for you because I want to put my heart and my love into your raw vegan journey as well. So here I am over three months, almost four months on my raw vegan journey and I've never been happier. I eat four abundant meals a day and life is just amazing. I I truly, truly believe that your food is fueling not just your body, but your mind and your soul. And it's so important for you to choose the right things to put inside these amazing avatars that we have for a decent amount of time, guys. And I, it all comes back to self-love. And if you truly love yourself, then you will understand that raw food is the way to go. And I am just so excited to share more of this amazing journey on this channel. I'm going to have recipes. I'm going to have tips and tricks and everything. Because I know it's so overwhelming. It's so overwhelming. And I, you know, pretty much did it overnight. And I have any transition, you know, once I was like raw or bust, you know. <laughs> um, but I understand not everyone is like that. And I, I really do know it is my purpose in life to help others come to this amazing, vibrant diet. And that is my raw vegan journey, and here we are. I am so excited to be a part of your life. Once again, make sure you subscribe, leave some comments. Any questions that you have for me, I would love to hear from you, and I'll see you again soon, my friends. Remember, choose happiness.
Tuy vậy bị 